All right, here we are at the egg. Cause we just hatched that open for us. Beautiful. All right, now one thing we can do is, thanks to Mumbo's rain dance, we can enter the pot of gold now. Now you can do this as Banjo or Kazooie. You can also do it as just Kazooie. But since we've conveniently split up from Banjo, let's do it as just Kazooie. Actually, you might need just Kazooie to be able to run fast enough over here. Yeah, you actually might need just Kazooie to enter here. I'm gonna do it as just Kazooie anyways. Feel free to try it with Banjo and Kazooie. Inside the pot of gold. Yeah, you're a mean Joe, what a surprise. This music's a little ominous. So there are these four egg symbols over here. That one is for fire eggs. This one is for grenade eggs, and you have to spit them in the holes properly. I was just spitting them into the walls, you actually need to spit them into the designated holes. Then this one is for regular eggs. Once you've powered the pedestals... Look at this. So area is very pretty. Welcome! You're in my fabled pot of gold shooting challenge! To win an ill-deserved prize, you must hit at least 75 jiggies in 45 seconds. If you can manage to beat 90, I'll give you an extra prize. I reckon you won't even hit 20, fancy a go. So, this is pretty tough. 75 jiggies getting hit in 45 seconds is a lot. Trying to get 90 in 45 seconds? That is a huge amount. So this is actually a very, very difficult minigame. Having said that though, there is a strategy. Yes, let's give it a go. Ready, three, two, one, go. So you go into first person shooter mode. What we're gonna do is we're gonna aim all at the top and then just rapidly shoot while moving the camera. Try to shoot all the jiggies on the wall. Then once we get to the point where we've shot them all, now we go to the next level and do the same thing. And you don't necessarily want to go as fast as the camera will allow, because then you might miss some. But once you get the camera angle down right, and now we can do this for the bottom row. And, wow, we actually got the 90. Did you cheat? Yes, you must have. You somehow hit 92 jiggies and win first and second prizes at once. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I did that first try. That's actually a legit tough minigame. You're, it's a huge time crunch. You might have won all my prizes, but I bet you can't hit all 100. Give it a try. You don't get anything for hitting all 100. Get lost then. This game's too good for you anyway. <laughs> Way to go, Grunty. Way to be a good sport. And there's our second Cheeto page. Still not the toughest of the minigames. That goes to the Canary Mary race without a doubt. But as far as like legitimately difficult minigames go, that's the most legitimately difficult of all of the minigames. And there we go. We are done with the pot of gold game. <laughs> Look at me now, Mom! <laughs> Is there, a, is there, like, another flight pad or maybe a warp cloud around? There are no warp clouds on this level. That's kind of frustrating. There's no easy way to swap back between Banjo and Kazooie. That's where it would be nice if you could just manually switch wherever you are. I get that may have caused some issues if they had done that, but... Eh. I would have liked to have had it. Actually, I don't think we're going to be able to glide back up there. Looks like we'll have to use this flower. Ka 
boing. Here we go, the flight pad's down here. Because we haven't flown up to, like, the very tip-top yet, except as a Zubba. For example, we haven't gone up here yet. We went up here as the uh, bee, but we didn't actually go into the cavern. I think the treble clef might be up here. Or just a regular note. Oh, up there is the treble clef as well. Okay, this is the bridge that was really high up. Alright. That Zubba is a jerk. He was trying to cheat me. Alright. I believe that was the last of the notes in the entire game. We are at 900 now. Yep, 900. Eight, uh, 100 in the eight main worlds, then 100 in the Isle of Hags. We now have all of the notes in the entire game. Then we can use Clockwork Kazooie Bomb back here in order to get the final switch. And now we can open up the Super Stash Deluxe. 1984. Oh yeah, 1984! I should have remembered that. It's a real rare date. <laughs> I am pretty sure that that is the date that Rareware was founded. Or maybe, like, the date that they came out with, like, their first big game. Either way, it's funny. Anyhow, there's a Jiggy inside. We'll just grab that. Yeah, Cloud Cuckoo Land is the first and only of the levels in the entire game where we never have to backtrack because by this point we have all of the moves and all of access to all of the worlds. <laughs> so we can actually get literally everything on this level in a single go. Or I say, I say that, but at the same time, guess what? <laughs> well... I might not be able to get that last Cheeto page. I think I'll be able to get the Jiggy from Canary Mary, but that last Cheeto page, man. Ugh. I am not looking forward to it. Alright, we're gonna go off, off to the Cheese Wedge first, and then off to the uh, Mr. Fitz Sack Race. Alright, the stupid Zubba. That Zubba is really annoying. <laughs> Whee! Take that, you flower. Alright, now we can climb up the beanstalk, just like Jack. And it should lead us to the cheese wedge. Which we do need to be in here as Solo Banjo. Welcome to the inside the cheese wedge, where it's so smelly, it's literally toxic. Ugh, it sounds awful. And we're gonna need our sack pack for this because there are floating onion platforms going around, but for some reason the onions have spikes on them. I do not know why. Oh my lands. I, this would be torture for me to be inside a giant wedge of cheese that is so smelly it's literally like toxic. I already can't stand the smell of really, really heavy cheeses. No! Get back here, you butt! Okay, well, we better leave. Because even with the double air meter, that's a tough, that's tough to get through. How smelly would that cheese have to be? It's the world's smelliest piece of cheese. Come on, let me out. Okay, yes, here we go. Lip. Good camera. No! Oh, I hate this. 
Bad camera, bad depth perception. This is the worst. This may have been another jiggy I'm not sure if I ever got on my playthrough. I think because these onion platforms were just so annoying. There's a Jinjo in here. How is the Jinjo still alive if he's been in this cheese wedge for, oh, Lord knows how long? There we go. The purple Jinjo family is complete! They'd like you to have this! Now we get a tiny little hole here. We can shack pack through it. Remember how there was that uh, place in the back of the cheese wedge covered in gelatin? Yep, that's not for the Clockwork Kazooie eggs, that's for Banjo. This takes us back into the Cheese Wedge, where we can get ourselves another Jiggy. Now I believe we're only missing two Jiggies now. On this level. Yes, we're missing two hollow honeycomb pieces though, and one Jinjo. Dang. That's not good. I have no idea where the hollow honeycomb pieces would be either. Oh, that's smelly. Oh, that's smelly. Get out of the stinky, stinky cheese. That's a big no for me. Ouch. Kablonk. Alright. Off the challenge, Mr. Fat again. I'm sorry, Mr. Fit. Mr. Fit's such a weird character. Apparently he was one of the characters who was popular enough to come back in the beloved classic sequel, Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Never played it. From what I understand, like, it's not a bad game, it's just not a Banjo game. But I mean, hey, I liked the, like, I even liked the GBA Banjo-Kazooie game. Which apparently very few people like. But that was actually my first Banjo game, and I played it, I'm like, this is really fun. Then I played the N64 ones, I'm like, oh my gosh, these are so much better. But, it, like, the GBA Banjo is still not bad. It's just different. And not as funny. But it was still fun to play. Alright. I forgot how much of this level you have to do is solo Banjo. There we go. Climb up the beanstalk, and now we finally reach Mr. Fit. He's been here for like the entire level. Ah, there you are, Furball. Event two is the sack race. Find a sack from somewhere and race me to the finish line. Oh, a sack like this? I see you have a sack, Furball. Fancy a little race across this thorny course? Sure. Ready, three, two, one, go! So he's pretty fast, so we're gonna have to take the shortcut. And there we go. Pretty easy. Um, excuse me, I won. As I thought, I had predictably easy victory for Mr. Fat. I won! How about another race? I won! I took the shortcut and you didn't, Mr. Fat. What a ripoff! 
All right, fine. I'll beat you the legit way. I don't want to even take the shortcut. Yeah. Why did it not count my previous victory? Why put in the shortcut if you're not allowed to use it? How stupid. What? You must have cheated. You cheated! You ain't won yet, Furball. See you around for event free. He's got a lot of gall calling me the cheater when he literally told me I didn't win when I won. Like, and it wasn't even close. I'm gonna have to figure out where those hollow honeycomb pieces are as well. Oh, wait, there actually might... One of them might be at, like, the very top of the Zubba Hive interior. I actually think there's one at, like, the very top of the Zubba Hive. That's my bad! I'm, like, 90% sure. Well, I might have to turn into a bee again. Man, these little cardboard cutout enemies are surprisingly annoying to deal with. Because they pop up out of nowhere. Alright, Mr. Fit is now on that giant blue block of nowhere. So, let's go and find him. And I'm trying to think where that last, uh, how long can we Oh, the last one might be, like, at the top of the trash can, actually. Alright, no, I think this will actually work out. So first we go to Mr. Fit. Make him wish he had never tried to race me. I can't hide from you, can I, Furball? Event free is the last one involving a sprint race to the finish line and the gold medal. Fancy your chances? Sure. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, he's actually pretty fast. Alright, I'll give you that one, Mr. Fit. Okay, you, de you definitely schooled me on that one. I'll give you that one. <laughs> he literally cheated on all the other ones, though. No need for a photo finish there! Mr. Fit is still the champion! How about a rematch? No. I understand. Not everyone is as a good shape as I am. Okay, this guy is so full of himself. I forgot how full of himself this guy is. Well, if you'll remember, we can get the turbo trainers from here. Let's see how well you race when I'm wearing sneakers, buddy. Sneakers magically make you go faster. I see you have your running shoes on. Do you think you can beat me to the finish line and the gold medal? Well, I definitely think my odds are a little better now, but I might have to be solo, Kazooie, for this. Ready, three, two, one, go! Yep, even with the running shoes, he's still too fast. Nice job, Mr. Fit. You're actually very, very fast. I'll give you that. No need for a photo finish there, Mr. Fit is still the champion. How about a rematch? Uh, let me just ditch Kazooie. And I'll be right back. Alright, Mr. Fit, I think you'll find me a lot more difficult to race this time. I see you have your running shoes on. Do you think you can beat me to the finish line in the gold medal? Yes, I can. Just like Bob the Builder told me I could. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Eat my dust! He's actually still very fast, but... I beat you! I'm more athletic than you. 
<laughs> and I'm more humble, too. I lost! I can't believe I was beaten by a bag of feathers! Take my medal, I'm off to the gym to train for next season. I like your rare wear gym outfit. Alrighty! <laughs> Kazooie took the Jiggy Whiffer to her death.